What's going on everyone? This is Carl The Solution. This is The Solution to Fitness and today I'll be reviewing the Serene Life Portable Full Size Infrared Home Spa. So in many parts of the US, when the quarantine first started, it was back in March of 2020. Gyms were closed, movie theaters were closed, saunas were closed. And as of this recording, we are currently midway through February of 2021. And although a lot of places have reopened, saunas and steam rooms have yet to reopen ones in my gyms anyway so it's gonna be a full year since i've stepped foot in a sauna room and i love the sauna i used to go in there two to three times a week so <sighs> i miss it so damn much so i got tired of waiting and i decided to look into it myself on how to get my own i then ran across the serene life sauna room on amazon and I got super interested on how it worked and how it felt. I'm also gonna walk you through the steps on how to build this sauna room yourself. You're gonna see the process because the directions they gave was a little confusing and I couldn't find any videos online of someone building it. So I hope this video will be beneficial to you. So I decided to add this video to my home gym equipment playlist, which you can click on right here, where I review a lot of home gym equipment such as Titan Fitness and Powertech. I want to review home gym equipment. I go over the quality of the equipment, its features, how it works, and overall if it's worth the price. Check out that playlist if you're into videos like that, into reviews of home gym equipment, and do me a favor and do, and do yourself a favor and bench that subscribe button, squat that like button. It'll help me out with the YouTube algorithm so more eyes get on the channel and definitely punch out the notification bell to be notified of all other future uploads such as this. All right, with all that being said, let's get right into the review of the Serene Life Portable Home, the Serene Life Portable Full Size Infrared Home Spa. All right, so this is the box that it came in. It measures about three feet, eight inches long. And as you can see here, there's not too much width and height to it. The box was a little smaller than I expected, which is good. It weighs about 37.5 pounds, so it was fairly light to carry downstairs into my basement. Okay, I'm opening the box up now. Oh, here's the materials. So we're gonna start getting into the build. I'm gonna try my best to show you all the details because I was building this by myself, so it's kind of hard to uh, record and build at the same time, but these are the heating panels. Here's the manual. Get that out of there. Let's check it out. So yeah, the manual's just showing you some of the features, the specs, um, a decent explanation on how to build it. You can look through it here. It talks about at the end. It talks about. Uh, it talks about the warranty. And you know how to use a remote control, things like that. So here, first we have the pieces to the frame here. These poles are numbered. This ensures you place them in the correct positions with the corner connectors. So make sure you pay attention to those numbers. Uh, this is the bottom. I wanted to make sure you got a good look at it before I put the rest together. But you can see the numbers here in the corners. And if you make a mistake, it's easy to disassemble and reassemble it. So here's the pieces fully assembled, probably one of the easiest parts to do. Now we unzip the large black fabric. You can see how I secured it around the edges. My basement isn't very tall, so I had to drag it under the frame. And this side part, you're gonna put, you're gonna pull it over this frame. So now I pull it over the frame. It was a little easier than I thought it would be. As you can see here, it's secured tightly around the corners. It comes with a padded foam glossy looking foot pad that goes into the bottom. I'll show you that later. So I'm going to step out real quick and you're going to see it from the outside. See that right part that I got to wrap that around. It's all connected by a zipper. So and there it is in all its sauna glory. Now we're going to place the carbon fiber heating pads. You see here the panels. They're going to be inside. There's three of them. And they have Velcro on them. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, let's move over to the manual so you can see how they go inside right here on the bottom. And there's little plugs in and uh, there's little plugs on them right here. And they plug into the sauna. They each have one. They each have a plug. 
but there's the Velcro you can see there where it attaches to. Now here's the main infrared light or the LED therapy light which gets attached to the top of the sauna. I'm going to show you what that looks like. See that little plug there? There's a pocket on the ceiling. See right there? So you're going to slip it in and there's a plug to connect it right there. This is the back and this is I guess the main fuse box or electric box to the sauna. If the sauna stops working because of a blown fuse or something like that, then this is where it's installed. Now here's a common issue. Well, here's the plug you need to put next to a socket because it needs to be plugged into a wall. Uh, that white wire there is the remote. So I connected it, I plugged it in. The sauna is on, the infrared light is on, and the sauna is ready to go. Take a look. Looks comfortable, right? Again, going to go to the back. Here's the remote. You see that starting up 64 degrees. I put it for, I set it for 30 minutes. So three minutes, I jumped up to 64. You can put it in there. Um, that actually goes inside the sauna. You can tighten it to close that hole. But let's back up and there it is. The fully assembled sauna itself measures almost five feet, 11 inches in height, around two feet, 11 inches in length and width. It has a 1300 watt power output. If your height is around maybe 6'4 and above, it may be a tight fit for you. I don't see the size as an issue if you're shorter than that and really heavy set. It may be a snug fit, but you'll be able to fit in here with no issues. If anything, you can always go for the one that's that seated one with your little head popping out. <laughs> for me, I do have a wide frame up top, but I'm comfortable enough inside. All right, now let's go inside, see what it looks like inside. All right, let's see, a little more in there. And so we're going to be talking about the quality of this uh, sauna room. This fabric here that looks like aluminum foil, this is listed as aluminum insulated film, which is actually better than aluminum foil as it's easily stretches. It's kind of harder to tear. It's also really good for electrical insulation. Now let's talk about the outside uh, fabric. This fabric material is black nylon fabric or more specifically Oxford fabric which is very durable material often used for like some jackets and sportswear. It's known for being really strong and really light. I want to give another shot of the light here. This is an infrared sauna, so this provides what's called far infrared radiant heat, which gives you all the benefits of natural sunlight without any negative ultraviolet radiation. The window here does come on and off. You can see here that it's also attached by Velcro. Of course, I do recommend keeping it on when the machine is up, uh, the sauna room is in use. You want to keep all that heat trapped inside, but you know, if you want to pass somebody something or if you want to reach for something, you have that option. Just notice this little piece here. Like I said, you do need to set this up near an outlet as it does need to be plugged in. But the uh, power cord is five foot three inches, so it doesn't have to be that close. And the sauna room is pretty light where you can just move it around. But I do recommend that the sauna is unplugged when not in use. And I believe the company also recommends that. So let's check out some features of the sauna room. One of the things that it comes with is this foldable sauna chair. See that? I think that's pretty cool that it comes with something like this. Um, if you don't want to clean it every time, because when you're in here, you're going to get a lot of sweat. You're going to sweat all over the chair. It's going to stink. So maybe just put a towel over it when you're using it. Um, if you do not want to do that, you could also just, just wipe it. You can wipe the whole thing down with some disinfectant wipes or something like that. Unless you don't mind dirty sock smell. You also have this foot pad heating mat feet on that. I don't really see myself using it that much. Um, it does get really, really hot, like uncomfortably hot. 
so I don't really use it that much, but there's that. On the bottom is, well, it's not really a feature, but just wanted to bring it up is the, uh, this is the mat that you uh, put at the bottom. I don't really talk about it that much. But make sure, it's like a glossy mat, nice and comfy. Got a lot of padding. I got everything is super light. Okay, bringing the camera a little closer here. I'm gonna show you the little controller. This allows you to adjust the heat and the time that you're in here. Hope it's it's uh, clear. Looks pretty clear. Um, the longest you can set it for is 60 minutes. This is the heat. Here's the uh, time. Um, this is where you can also turn on the heating pad, right here, foot, right there. Like hotter, cold, lowering temperature, on and off, make sure everything is set. This is going to control everything. Serene Life claims that the highest this temperature can go is 140 degrees Fahrenheit or 60 degrees Celsius. So I do want to check if that's actually legit. So let's test that out now and you're going to see what it looks like from the inside when it's on. So I find that it takes a little while for this thing to start heating up. It's around 60 degrees or so in the basement and this reached 80 degrees in about I don't know, a little over 5 minutes. The company says it can reach its highest temperature in 5 minutes so that's already fake news there. There's the, with the plug where the remote control went through. Uh, here's a little pocket here. Uh, there's a little pouch here where you can store your remote. Mm -hmm. It goes right in there. Alright. So, and it's been about. What's this time at? Uh, it's been about 10 minutes since I've been in here. I set it for 30. And it's reached about, that's backwards, right? 90 degrees. Still going up. So you gotta make sure that these panels here, there's three, are plugged in. Uh, there's wires under here, which I kind of missed. I only saw one wire, but there's two still inside. So they each gotta be plugged in because I only had one plugged in and it was only getting up to about 86 degrees so now I uh, plug both in all three in actually and it's still continuing to go up I got it at 98 right now I have it set to as high as temperature I want to see if it can all right here I come <laughs> and uh, food's here uh, now I'm gonna see if it can actually get to its a uh, highest temperature let me see how high it can go all right, we're at 113. Uh, seems to be a number I've been stuck at. I just turned the foot pad on. Let's see if it has a little more heat on here. The foot pad's right there. I uh, added more time to the time limit. So I wanted to give it more time to uh, heat up. So let's see where we go from here. So yeah, that seems to be the limit, like I said. Um, if anything is dropping back down, it's 109 right now, but it's still pretty damn hot. <laughs> As you can see, I'm sweating. I got a little hoodie on. If you got a hoodie on and some pants on, like here, and then uh, you'll still get a good sweating. All right, 104 degrees. I probably wouldn't put it to that much anyway, but it's just the fact that it's advertised. I want to see if it actually got to that point. I'm gonna talk a little bit about that once I'm uh, out of this sauna room. So we'll be right back. So one thing about the sauna door is that it's zippers and I'm super happy that it doesn't get super hot when the sauna is on. There's a zipper on the outside or there's one on the inside to get out. And it just reminds me of the sauna rooms when I used to go to the gym, the gym sauna room and I'd have like no shirt on, but I'd have a sweater with a zipper on it and it would burn my skin. But yeah, this one won't do that. Anyways, I heard a couple reasons why this sauna room won't reach that highest temperature. And one of the reasons is that I've heard 
was that it also depends on the temperature around the sauna. So I've heard people putting a large blanket over it or a large towel covering the sauna and it reached up to 120 degrees. Another thing I heard is that you won't get enough output from the electrical socket. I don't know. I don't know what the reason is, but it's definitely still hot enough for me. I don't plan on using this every day. Don't want to risk blowing a fuse or something like that. I wasn't going to use it every day anyway. The most I'll probably use it is maybe like once or twice a week. Just make sure you preheat it like an oven for like 10 minutes before going in there. Green Life does recommend that you do not use this for more than 30 minutes and more than three days a week. All right, so let's get into the price of this single person sauna room. As of this recording on Amazon and serenelife.com, this goes for $379.99. The Steam version goes for $50 cheaper. It does come with a one year warranty and they also offer you a, uh, a phone number or an email to contact if you're missing some parts or something is damaged. But if you damaged it and it was your fault, you'll be paying for the parts. Is it worth the price though? That's a little bit of a tough question for me to answer because I'm kind of in between with it. But so far, yeah, I do like it. Even though it didn't reach the highest temperature that was advertised, it's hot enough for me. I did sweat like a damn grease monkey. And it remains to be seen how long this will last me. You know, if it breaks down on me, I'll be sure to notify you guys. But as of this moment, I think it's a pretty good buy. And it's mainly due to saunas here in New Jersey being closed and the convenience of having this in my home and no indication on when saunas are going to reopen. But I'd love to know if you guys plan on getting the sauna room. Or if you already have it, leave some helpful tips in the comments or mention something that I did not bring up in this video that I may have missed. I'm just curious to know what your experiences are regarding this product. All I need is some eucalyptus and I could open up these nostrils. My nose isn't big enough already. <laughs> anyway guys, that was my review for the Serene Life Portable Full Size Infrared Home Spa. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something new. And I hope that helped you decide if the sauna room is for you. And again guys, please consider checking out my home gym equipment reviews, my supplement reviews, and stick around to the channel by benching that subscribe button and squatting that like button and punching out the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload. I have no idea what that was, I'm sorry. Oh, and I haven't brought it up in a while, but guys, check out HughesSupplements.com for pre-workouts, fat burners, test boosters, all that stuff. Use my discount code. What was my discount code again? Oh, Solution20 for 20% off. 20% off anything on that site. I think their products are legit. I love their Rex pre-workout. If you're into that, just check it out. But once again, this is Carl The Solution saying if you got a problem, I'll help you solve it. Your worst days are done and your best is yet to come.